if the only reason why you don't own a dual camera smartphone is just because how expensive they are then this may interest you my name is Vinit and you're watching V Diaries and this is my hands-on review of Huawei's Honor 6X let's begin Now ever since the dual camera has been the thing that is catching everybody's attention, we all know that it comes with pretty hefty pricing. LG started it with G5, V10 and now V20. Even the iPhone is no exception here. So for all those photography enthusiasts out there, this piece of gadget is ready to fulfill your dual camera wish for just 13,000 rupees. Isn't that a killer? Honor 6X or Huawei's Honor 6X is currently sold via Amazon it comes with two variants, one with 32GB and 3GB of RAM that will cost you 13,000 rupees and another higher 64GB variant that comes with 4GB of RAM and that will cost you 16,000 rupees. The inbox accessories contains the phone, the documentation, the 2 amp charger and a USB to micro USB cable. There is no type C here. You also get a screen protector already applied on the phone. Looking at the design, over at the front you get 8 megapixel front facing selfie camera with earpiece and bunch of sensors. This phone has a 5.5 inch LTPS IPS LCD display that has a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels giving a total of 403 pixels per inch. The display has curved edges with 2.5D with no protection whatsoever. I think that is the only reason why the screen protector was already applied. Going ahead, the buttons are on the screen and the Honor branding sums the front. Over at the back, you find a dual camera setup. A 12 megapixel primary sensor is coupled with 2 megapixel secondary sensor. The 2 megapixel sensor captures the depth information that helps you edit the photo post capture. We will talk about it later in this video. This camera setup is accompanied by a single LED flash, which, in my opinion, should have been a dual LED for natural lighting. This is followed by a fingerprint sensor and honor branding again. The right side consists of volume rockers followed by the power button. The buttons have nice tactile feedback to them. The left side has a tray in which you can put two nano SIM cards whereas the second slot is a hybrid one which can accommodate either a SIM or a SD card. The SD card expandability is allowed up to 128 GB. Both SIM slots supports voice over LTE. Over at the bottom you get a micro USB port, a speaker grill and a primary microphone. Over at the top you have 3.5mm headphone jack and a secondary noise cancellation microphone. The overall build quality seems superb and I have no complaints whatsoever. The unibody aluminum shell looks premium and that has plastics at top and the bottom for better network reception. The phone weighs 162 grams and it doesn't feel heavy at all. Under the hood you get high silicon Kirin 655 octagon CPU. This is Huawei's own chipset. Out of 8, 4 cores are clocked at 2.1 GHz and rest 2 are clocked at 1.7 GHz. This is coupled with Mali T830 MP2 GPU along with 3 GB of RAM and 32 GB of internal memory. What powers this whole thing is 3340 mAh battery. This phone has all the basic sensors like gyroscope and ambient light sensor. This will have a great support in playing games and watching 360 degree videos. Talking about the performance, this phone doesn't do miracles but when it comes to multitasking and gaming, the phone doesn't disappoint you. The high-end games are smooth and responsive. There is no frame drops I have experienced. The Huawei chipset seems legit in handling high-end graphics for these games. The phone runs on Emotion UI 4.1 which is more or less based on Android Marshmallow and ready for a Nougat update in March. The phone doesn't have an app drawer like any other Chinese manufacturer. So if you have used Huawei's or Honor's phone before, then you will find yourself comfortable with this phone too. The UI comes with third-party apps and some bloatwares too. Though these third-party apps can be removed, but you are still stuck with those bloats. The DTS audio enhancement helps you enjoy the music, but that is limited to the headphone output since the output via speaker grill isn't impressive at all. The speaker position may be an issue because while playing games your hand may muffle with the speaker. The fingerprint scanner located at the rear side is accessible when you're holding your phone. But when it's placed on a table, it certainly becomes a pain to unlock the phone. The fingerprint accuracy however is pretty accurate and the unlocking happens within a fraction of a second. This fingerprint scanner also acts like a camera shutter button so if you're into selfie thing then this will come really handy. The 5.5 inch Full HD display is bright and vibrant. Weaving angles are pretty nice and the sad part is it doesn't come with any kind of a protection. 
and with that 2.5D curved glass, the display becomes more vulnerable. You may want to consider applying a tempered glass protection before you start using it. Now, the most interesting part about the Honor 6X is the dual camera setup at the back. The 12 megapixel main sensor coupled with 2 megapixel depth sensor does perform really well. The 12 megapixel shooter clicks the complete image whereas the second sensor captures the depth. So you can change the focus not even while taking a picture but post capture too. This works really well when you focus on the foreground object since the bokeh effect looks natural. But when you readjust the focus on the background image then the blur effect on the front object looks made up or digitized. You also get some effects and filters that you can apply to your images. The pro mode does let you tweak many things before taking a picture and this feature is also available while shooting a video too. One downside that I can think of is the video recording is restricted to only 1080p. Here is a sample video. The 3340 mAh battery takes approximately 1.5 hours to full charge and certainly lasts you for a day with a moderate usage. So this concludes my quick hands-on review of Honor 6X. Do you have the same opinion? Let me know in the comment section below. Do give a big thumbs up for this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Your subscription and likes motivates an individual creator like me. Also don't forget to click that bell icon to receive all the updates on my channel. This is Vinit signing off. You people have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.